Good day, good afternoon, good whenever it is you are watching this. Thank you very much for watching this. I just want to put together a really quick video to talk about a new record that came out from a guy by the name of F.U. I don't recommend you listen to F.U. just because I think he has one of the best names in all of music. I recommend you listen to the album because it's very good. Starting with Tarantino DMT, it's a very, very good opening to the record because if you've never listened to F.U., it sort of lets you know and sets the tone for what he is about and what you're going to hear for the next 30 minutes. Which, by the way, clocking in at 30 minutes I think is a great length of time for these records, especially for a rapper that you might not have heard about because you're not they're not asking you to dedicate four hours or an hour and a half to getting to know them. It's 30 minutes. Listen to it on your way to work. If you like it, share it with the world. If you don't, don't share it with the world. Personally, I liked it. I'm sharing it with the world. Tarantino DMT, I thought was a great way to set off the album. Moving into the song J Lo Sex Tape. Now, J Lo Sex Tape was a single that came out a little while ago. And uh, it's been on Bandcamp. Sorry, this is my cat, Mr. LePew. He also likes F you. But the song J Lo Sex Tape, let me put it this way if you are a fan of the Alchemist's uh, yacht rock stuff, you're going to like this song. This is going to fit in really well on a cool playlist of cool shit to listen to. Third track on the album, Smorgasbord. The first time I heard it, I'll admit, I wasn't in love. I, 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 didn't, I didn't get it. And honestly, like sometimes you got to go back and you hear it the second or the third time, and you're like, oh, not only do I get it, but it was really, really good. F.U. is a rapper who, when he raps about food, makes you hungry. I live in the middle of nowhere, Alaska. So, forgive me if I didn't dive into half chicken, half lamb, extra barbecue, no haram. We can't get a shawarma here. I wish I could get a shawarma here. However, in the middle of nowhere, Alaska, it's very hard to come by a shawarma. There's a place that makes them. It's called Wanderlust uh, Cuisine but you're only going to see him in the summer. So mostly I was hurt. I was mostly just hurt uh, by the lack of, um, of good uh, shawarma in the middle of nowhere, Alaska, in November. Mostly. All right, moving on to uh, Grateful Dead with Spit Gems. As you know, Spit Gems is one of my favorite rappers, and he says it best in this song. He doesn't make, rap he doesn't make music for kids. He makes music for... For adults, he makes music for parents. He makes he, he makes music for people who give a shit about shit, and and he does a really good job of explaining it. The thing about these guys is is these are technicians, right? Like like you have a very good welder or you have a very good carpenter. That's what these guys are, but with words and constructing sentences and conveying an idea, and on top of that, having fun with it. So, I'm not going to go deep into the album. It's got features from Recognize Ali and Bub Styles on there, as well as a song that was released earlier, uh, F Your Life by Nems. Uh, I mean, why say released earlier? It wasn't like released three years ago. Uh, it's part of this album. It's called F Your Life. It's a really good song. And Nems is one of my favorite rappers. If you like Don Rickles, if you like Don Rickles as an actor, if you like Don Rickles as a stand-up comedian, if you like the shit that he did, or he would say mean, terrible, hurtful shit, but it made you laugh, and it made you as the person being called dick or, or being the butt of their joke, it made you laugh too, and it made you feel like you were part of it. So, so shout out to Nems, because he's another one of those guys that says really funny shit and really thoughtful shit and covers a lot of bases. So there you go. The record is 10 songs, clocks in at around 30 minutes. It's across all streaming platforms. It's called Money House Blessings. Give it a listen. Hey guys, so I just got a really quick update from the man himself. And apparently it's not 10 songs. It's 12 songs, but the major streaming services would not clear the other two songs. However, they are available on FU's Bandcamp. So if you go to his Bandcamp, you can get the other two songs, uh, purchase them directly. Now, 
if, uh, if you want an even sweeter deal, if you buy it directly from him, he will send you a folder with the full album, plus the two songs and all of the artwork associated with the release. So just shoot him a message, let him know you're interested in getting a copy of the album, and make contact with him. That's really the easiest way to support an artist is just go direct with them. That's one of the things I've learned uh, over the course of doing the podcast is that if you want to reach out and you want to talk to an artist, just reach out to them. All right. Uh, FU, thank you very much for the, the uh, information. Thanks for the update. And here you go.